I really thought after the fourth one that might have been it. Um, but it really was for me. Uh, we went and traveled around the world to all the premieres and stuff, and I, I got to know the fans for the first time. You know, I mean, I actually got to interact with them, and um, it it, it kind of solidified my decision. You know, and I felt like there were still a lot of areas that I feel like this franchise can go to. And the thing that I appreciate about this franchise and the studio is that they've never asked for just recycling the same thing over and over again. And by the virtue of that, like, I feel like this franchise has been able to grow and evolve and mature. I realize that a lot of the people that enter the franchise on the first Fast and Furious, they're 10 years older, 11 years older, you know? Um, and then there's another group that entered the franchise and seeing you know, the third one for the first time. And it felt like those two generations of Fast and Furious fans. Um, and I was really able to kind of tap into that and I felt like, well, if you're talking about family, um, wouldn't it be great to bring everybody from every Fast and Furious back? and have a reason for them to, to reunite. The action in this one is basically bigger than I think the last two combined. Um, I mean, it, it, we, we were, there's about six action pieces in this movie, not just car chases, but there's actually foot chases. Um, there's a race. It just has, it's just jam packed in there. Um, and it's, it wasn't done for that reason. It was really just, you know, when you have all these characters reuniting and you have the, the you know, the, the antagonist, you have Hobbs, all these characters are coming into the franchise. I just felt like it, it, it's, it's the best way to express who these characters are by putting them in action. I love uh, the idea of Hobbs. I think when we talked about Dom and Brian now on the same side, Right away, I knew that the new antagonist was going to be one of my favorite characters, you know, um, and it was going to ha we were going to be able to have an opportunity to create a character that's going to be memorable and, and that's going to, you know, really get the, the, the audience pumped up. Our characters get pushed, their backs get pushed to the wall to a point where Dom now makes, you know, a declaration that he feels like their only way out is to do the craziest thing, which is to basically go into the heart of a police station, steal $100 million from the guy who is running Rio, and escape and have freedom and to be able to basically build new lives.